Thank you, Chair. Uh, I'd like to make it clear at the outset that my comments that may follow do not include the brigadier sitting over there. She's expressly excluded, uh, as is the young man who, who uh, assisted her in doing his job. So, two of them, this doesn't apply to you. Uh, you say that you were struggling. I think, I'm sorry, I can't see your rank from here. No. Provincial Commission. You, yes. I, I don't know your name and I can't see your rank. Lieutenant General Mutsunyani Chepesin. Thank you. You say that you struggled to get cooperation from DCS. Is that correct? I think G4S. G4S, DCS, whomsoever. Who did you struggle with? G4, G4S Chepesin. You're a. You're, you're a lieutenant general, did you say? Yes, Chepesin. That's quite a rank. How, tell, tell me, how does a lieutenant general in the South African police force struggle to get anything from anyone in this country? Please explain that. Uh, Chairperson, we have the challenges we have. That's why we, uh, we did get Section 205, because there are processes to follow. We did get Section 205 against G4S on the documentation we want. And further on that, then we started communicating through uh, GICS and GCS itself. Thanks, Chairperson. You needed to get a Section 205 subpoena in order to get information from G4S. Is that what you're telling us? We needed those documents for investigation, Chairperson. Then we sectioned them so that we can get those documentation. Yo. I wish you told me that yesterday. Um, who is the prosecutor who's leading this prosecutor-led investigation? Advocate Amanda Bester, Chairperson. From where? From Bloemfontein Court. Oh, see. Good. Uh, can, can somebody tell me, perhaps it's an answer that DCS will give, so I won't ask you. Uh, can somebody tell me why it was necessary to charter a private jet in order to bring Bester and this woman back to South Africa? The police have a jet. The state has another jet. Uh, why was it necessary to charter a private jet? <coughs> Thanks, uh, Honorable Chairperson. Uh, if the police had to transport all the people from that side to here, uh, after the team met the Tanzanian team, they established that for any uh, deportation uh, does not involve the police. When you deport anybody from a country, uh, you deport the person probably uh, people that are responsible for immigration are the ones that uh, come on board, but you don't deport through uh, police. Police can assist in the process. I'm sorry, that doesn't answer my question. Why do you need to charter a private jet? Chairperson, simply put, it was part of negotiations with the officials on the other side that it would be their pleasure if the the is done the way that it, it, it was done. So we had to respect those negotiations with So the Tanzanians wanted to fly to South Africa in a private jet. Is that what you're saying? It's a yes or no answer. No, I'm not going to answer that way. No, not at then all. Then don't answer. You can tell others to answer yes or no. No, don't I'm answer. Absolutely not no. in court yet. It's fine. We, we send a team to negotiate. The, te the team left on the 9th. So it would be initially the extradition or the, if not extradition, is a deportation. So we were advised which is a better one, which is an easier one. So we had to negotiate with that. So th th that was, was raised by the team as we were in contact with the team to say they would be more comfortable if something private rather than the police comes. So we have to respect that. Thanks. Mm. What is the case number of this particular investigation? This escape, murder, violation of dead bodies, whatever.
好。Chairperson, for the escape is Bloomsbury case 316 of 1 2023. Fraud and violation of the body is Park Road case 1572 3 2023. The murder is Bloomsbury case 289 5 2022. Batu case 40 10 2021 is for culpable homicide where the body of the father was slimmed. Thanks, Chairperson. So the escape was registered in January 2023. Go ahead, Despite the fact that you knew about it many months earlier. Why was it why did it take so long to register on the criminal asset system? From the subs of site we did register an inquiry. Together with GC, D, DCS, they indicated oh, they are still busy with their investigation. That's why when they, are, they were ready with their investigation, DCS, Mr. Mohang approached us to say on instruction of their national office, they are to register SK based on the, on the report they received. Uh, General, I'm sorry, but I, I'm having trouble with this. DCS does not have an investigative capacity as far as I'm aware. They investigate escapes within the prison environment, but they don't investigate criminal matters. They have no capacity to investigate criminal matters. That's entirely your purview. Am I correct? There are, but Chairperson, there were things they need to verify because firstly, who is Tabo Bester? Was well, Tabo Bester supposed to be in, DC, uh, in, in Group 4? Is Tabo Bester not in one of the cells in Group 4? Those are the information they were supposed to verify for, uh, to us as the police. And that took uh, six months? That's when they said December they are ready, Chairperson. It took six months. Is that what you're telling us? Yes, correct, Chairperson. So when DCS came uh, to us to say they are yeah. ready with the A1 statement. Thank the police you. sat on their hands and did nothing for six months so that DCS could run through the, the, the prison in Mangaung and see if Tobo Bester wasn't in another cell. Chairperson, I think even as it was indicated by Judge Cameroon, or he indicated or they must finalize the report so that the report can be submitted and we take it from there. Thanks, Chairperson. I listened quite carefully, uh, and this is directed at the Minister. Uh, I listened quite carefully to your explanation of Catch-22. Is you fond of that, uh, that phrase, Catch-22? Sorry, how many? I left with three minutes. Thank you. You're fond of the uh, use of the phrase catch-22, and you sometimes apply it appropriately and sometimes you apply it conveniently. Uh, a catch-22 situation, you described to the Honourable Swart that uh, you didn't inform the public of the escape uh, because it was a catch-22. It may have alerted Bester that, uh, that you were on the lookout for him, uh, and you didn't want to compromise the investigation. Well, yes, but don't you think that uh, the public interest in this instant trumps the investigation of the police that was going absolutely nowhere until January? It also has the public interest that when the arrest is effected, that case stands the test of time. Uh, but. but Already, I don't know why that question comes, because it has been considered that indeed, in re-looking at things, at least the victims would have been taken on board. I'm getting to the victims, General. I'm getting to the victims. Now we're talking about the public, the South African public, citizens who live in this country are entitled, because your job is to make sure they're safe living in this country. That's your job. And you allow a serial rapist and murderer to run around doing as he pleases while you know that that's the case and you don't inform the citizens of this country. And you say it's a catch-22. Well, Chaperson, let me repeat. We're not making news. We're investigating. It is important then, now, and forever to say the police they investigate 
and they put those people out of circulation. To say you will announce that it be careful, people will say, now it's is mad. You go and get that person, and we have been on the track. That's why today, at 2 o'clock, it was expected that the other one appears in court, the other one is at Mampur and all that. It's the work that has been followed, including, there is this famous one, maybe I can come to it, including to say uh, the, the arrest uh, in, 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 in Arusha towards Kenya has nothing to do with the South African authorities. It's got a lot to do. Maybe those are things that will be kept there until the case comes and all that. The, the, major, ah. the, the, the major work of the police is very defined. It's very defined on 205. Investigate, prevent, and the, indeed, I fully agree with you. At this one, it would have been on the limited way of talking with the families, the victims. Indeed, that point is taken on board. But broadly, it would be good to say this has happened and we have arrested those people, people of South Africa, as it has happened. Minister, I, I would like to say two things to you because I probably only have a minute left. You don't. <laughs> I, I don't. Yankee, give me a minute. <laughs> you give me a minute. I will give you that give minute it, uh, so that you assist the committee going forward. <laughs> Just say two things to you. One, please don't lecture me on what the police do and don't do. I know what they do. I know what they don't do. I did it for years. You can teach me nothing about police investigations with respect. Secondly, you, and I'm glad you take the point, and I'm glad that you concede it. It's an absolute disgrace that the victims of this man were not warned, were not prepared, were not protected. It's an absolute disgrace, and you should hang your head in shame, all of you. It's no way to treat people. But the most important thing is, answer me this. If while you were so busy protecting the secrecy of your investigation and deciding not to warn the South African public who incidentally uh, expect all of us here to protect them, and we've all failed, all of us, if Bester had murdered another woman, had raped another woman, what would you have said then? Well, I'm not a speculator. That has not happened. Yes, it did, it did not happen. And, and secondly, I know you are a prosecutor, a, a, a vintage one for that matter. But, but don't, tell me, don't tell me about investigating and the police. You only deal with that after they've investigated. Yes, prosecution, indeed, but investigation, absolutely no, not for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Honorable John.